Well, this morning, an inner city youth ministry is asking for your time as an investment for one of the poorest communities in San Antonio. We're talking and taking you into the 78207 zip code, which is near the Lincoln Heights courts. Patty Santos has been following the progress at Harper's Chapel Ministries and tell us the support is great, but so is the need. What happens here? Oh, yes. So it's it's a small space, but my goodness, it's such a difference. This used to just be a wooden box. Now we, we just turned it into our own little classroom. Harper's Chapel Ministries has been doing a lot of things with the little they have. This, and this is where all the donations come in. In just one year, the church has grown its after school youth services program from just a handful of kids to about 40. Hannah Sertuche is the volunteer coordinator. Even she started as a volunteer name, herself and, and, and stepped in full time uh, when she saw the need grow. Our main goal is to be able to witness them be successful young adults. It happens when the kids are well fed, clothed, given time and love. Kids here get tutoring specifically in reading. I think yes. it's just such a blessing to be able to to be a part of this and I want more people to be able to share in that and to to reap the fruit of the blessings that God has. Of course, they have financial needs but what money can't buy is time and mentors. There's a ministry in presence being um, investing in our children's lives, telling them, um, how was your day or how can I help you? Like um, everybody wants to see a return and a quick return. Yes. It, it is not like that here. Not, you don't see it right away. Right. Not, not always. I, I um, went into youth ministry with the idea that I might not see the fruit of our labors until well into adulthood. If that, if they even reach out.